Right, hi everybody, it's Jeff here. Uh, you probably don't recognise me like this. Uh, this is how I used to look sort of 40 years ago when I was at work. And a lot of you might know that I've been doing something for quite a while now. Uh, but sometimes things have to change. Um, basically, I've jumped ship. Uh, for a while now, I've been uh, a mine tour guide at Apedale Colliery Heritage Centre in Stoke-on-Trent and you can get to that by going to apedale.co.uk and I'll put a link down below. Well today I'm doing something different. I'm at Chatterley Whitfield Mining Museum and this is up in Stoke-on-Trent and you can see behind me there's a nice big chimney uh, that used to be 30 foot higher but for the, any oldies amongst you Fred Dibner came in and took 30 foot off it many years ago and this is Chatley Whitfield and it's a really old mine it's one of the best preserved uh, mining museum surface buildings in the UK and it's got English heritage status it's a scheduled ancient monument and for those who are observant some of the things I'm seeing you here you can see round the back if anybody's seen the latest Lloyd's Bank advert then this is as featured on Lloyd's Bank advert you'll see the black horse running around this pit and one of the things I want to do is just publicize Chatterley Whitfield I'll put a link down below um, but I'm just going to do this uh, little video for any ex-miners and anybody who knows miners uh, because obviously now there are no deep mines working in the UK and all of those have been closed down. But really, if you are a miner, you need to be proud of yourself. Congratulate yourself for what you did. If you know a miner, then go and congratulate them for what they did because they were the people over the last few hundred years who used to go to work, they dig in the dirt and the dark so that you could get the light and the heat and they actually were the, the fire behind the industrial revolution that made Britain great. So if you know a miner, make their day by shaking the hand and say, well done, we're proud of what you did. And another thing about Chatley Whitfield, I'm just gonna try and switch the view here. And that pit there, this Chatley Whitfield mine, is a big record breaker. And it's the first pit in Great Britain, uh, possibly Europe, that actually mined over a million tons of usable coal in one year. The very first mine that did that. So it's like the Roger Bannister of mines. So this weekend it's a heritage open weekend unfortunately you won't be able to get here this weekend it's all full uh, there'll be another one coming up but if you want to be a friend of Chatterley Whitfield just go on to Facebook search for Chatterley Whitfield uh, friends of Chatterley Whitfield group join that group and then pay five pound a year and you can come and visit here any Thursday morning and if there's any ex-miners here then come along and share your stories to the world. So that was a quick showing of what I'm up to this morning. Uh, you've got the pit there, you've got the chimneys, you've got the shafts, and uh, I say well worth a visit. And if there's anybody in the Stoke-on-Trent area that wants to go underground, go to apedale.co.uk and the Apedale Heritage Centre and you can get underground, well worth a visit. I'm not sure whether this worked, but it's worth a try. Now the hard bit, trying to switch it off. Okay, thanks a lot, bye now. Now I need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing.
me, even with my glasses on, I couldn't see what I was doing and I didn't switch it off. So don't forget to share this to everybody you know on Facebook and spread the word, the good word about miners in the UK. Right, see if we can finish it now. I found the button. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye now.